Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a very special video because this video is the first one where I've been invited to review a product. So I did get this product free of charge and I'm talking about this foldy bag. And I just want to say that regardless of whether or not I received a product for free, that this review will be 100% completely honest and that I am going to be sharing the good, the bad, you know, what I like, what I dislike, just like I would with any other product. So let's jump into it. As I mentioned, this is the foldy bag. And yes, you heard that correct, this is a bag. This is a compact travel bag. And you can fold it down to this little pouch cube looking thing that's actually very slim and very compact, which at first I really love. The one caveat, and I will show you guys in a little bit, is that getting it to this form is a little bit complicated and perhaps it's just a lack of knowing how to do it. So I did watch a video of how to pack it down, but it wasn't 100% smooth. Nevertheless, though, I will walk you guys through it in this video. But let's go ahead and open it up to show you exactly what this bag looks like. Ta-da! This is what we're working with. And let me just zipper up this front pouch over here. Okay, so this is the foldy tote bag. I got it in a black, but it does come in six different colors, all of them in this nylon finish. So it's a very easy to maintain material that doesn't really show a whole lot of dirt. All in all, I feel like it's a practical material because it's also very soft, which is a good and a bad thing because honestly, when I first got this bag and I saw that it was very soft, I had a little bit of concern because as you may already know from my other videos, I tend to prefer bags that have more of a structure and I don't know if I completely love that this bag is 100%, you know, very moldable because one of my concerns would be whether or not the bag stands up on its own. I absolutely hate when bags topple over. So this one, it appears to be able to hold on its own without nothing, but we will have to see as I put things inside. But all in all, the material is very soft, as I mentioned, which means that it can easily slide down under the seat in front of you if you do take this in an airplane. The other great thing about this bag is that you can actually expand it so that you have even more room to pack things and that is through their bottom section over here. There's a zipper over here. <laughs> There's a zipper section that allow for the bottom to expand. So once you unzipper it all around, you have a little bit more space underneath. And this is what the bag looks like when it's fully open which I think is a great feature in the event that you change things up and what you carry with you. So it just gives you a little bit more flexibility when you pack. Going into the other features, as I mentioned, we have here the zippered section that can zippered back up. There we go. We have that compartment that expands. We also have this front pocket, which also doubles up as the main way for you to fold it into a pouch. So um, it's not very deep. I mean, it's deep, but like shallow, if that makes sense. I wouldn't unzip it all the way because obviously your contents would just fall out, but it's roughly, I would say like, I don't know, half an inch maybe that allows you to put things in here. And within this pocket, you have another zippered section over here. So that could come in handy, I guess, if you wanna put maybe 
your phone or passport, um, anything that's more flat. Going to the back of the bag, there's also another zippered section over here. And this section is also a little bit more tight. It doesn't really allow for bulky items, but still I think good for passports, maybe some cash or you know something that's a little bit slim, but you wanna keep easily accessible. The back also has a sleeve for you to be able to slide the bag on top of your carry-on luggage. I'm gonna actually show you guys exactly what that looks like and I have a cool way to compare this bag because I just got back from Italy with my husband. We were away for two weeks and I still have not unpacked my Away Everywhere bag because I wanted to see exactly what would translate into this bag or what I would be able to fit in this bag if I had taken it with me. But that's gonna be in a little bit. The top of the bag over here, we have these handles. The handles are not padded, uh, I don't really think. It's really just the, the handle folded over here, but it's still very soft and malleable. And you can't really adjust it in any way, which I think is fine but that's just something to note. And the bag does come with an additional strap of the same material, but it just allows you to wear it, I guess, across your shoulder or maybe cross body. It has these little clips, and I don't know if they're plastic, but definitely I think the, the construction, I mean, I would say compared to the Away Everywhere bag, it's a little bit less robust. And I think that also has to do with the price point, which I should have mentioned earlier, but this bag retails for $119.95 on their website. And they're having a summer sale where the bags are 50% off, which means that they're selling for right under $60. And honestly, thinking about the price point, I think the bag is worth more around the $60 range. I don't know if I would pay $120 for it, but that's just my opinion. But at $60, it sounds like a pretty decent deal. So we do have the extra strap if we wanted. Um, there are some little hook thingies here that you can just clip these on right here. And same thing over on this side. You can just clip them on. And what I like too is that the handle clips they have this pivot function that allows you to just if you put it the wrong way it's okay you know you don't have to worry about getting tangled which i like and it's also adjustable so you can make it as long or as short as you'd like removing this not a fan of these straps my way everywhere bag also came with one and i just really don't don't use it going inside the bag it's also this nylon material all throughout. I guess the inside is a bit of a gray shade. And we have one big pocket in the back that is lined. I wanna say it's waterproof if I'm not mistaken. And on the opposite side, we have two smaller pockets. So we have that there. I think that's pretty much it for the features of the bag and so let's jump into how it compares to the away everywhere bag and the contents that i put inside i don't know if i use the away everywhere bag or travel bags personal items the way that most people do it because the main reason for this bag is to carry things that are of high value to me and that i don't want to put inside my carry-on or my stowaway luggage in the event that they get lost. Most of the times I'm able to just keep my carry-on with me and just put it on top of the overhead bin, but there could be an instance where I'm forced to perhaps check it last minute if there's no space. So I'm just very hesitant about putting things of high value in anything that could be taken away from me. And for that reason, I use my personal bag as a place to keep my 
bags, <laughs> other bags that I take with me on trips, maybe my YSL one. I just purchased a new Dior bag. I keep my retainer with me, which is very important, and maybe medications that I have to take, iPad, in essence, anything that I don't want getting lost. So the items are a little bit, you know, they're not clothes or anything like that, but let's just get into it. And I'm gonna be putting them into the foldy right next to it, okay? Well, let me just remove a few things out of here so that I can rearrange them in the foldy. This is the big ticket item. This is my mini Kenken bag. And inside it, there's a ton of stuff. My YSL bag is in here. I mentioned that I bought a new Dior bag. And that is actually in here as well. And I have another backpack in here too. This is just a big bulky item that serves to carry a lot of other items. And that's honest like 90% of, of the thing in here. Next, I have my Away Tech pouch that has my chargers, my external batteries, things like that. I have this Long Champ cosmetic case. I have this other pouch which I use to freshen up during the flight. I have my iPad mini, which I'm gonna use the big pocket back here. I have my retainer, which fits in one of the pockets. A candy and a granola bar. Second little pocket there. I also have like a disposable mask. A few actually. Put in the pouch with the iPad at this point. I also have our COVID card, also with my iPad back here. That is pretty much it for the inside of my Away Everywhere bag. There is one bump here at the bottom that is the umbrella. As you may remember, the Away Everywhere bag has a pocket for an umbrella here. Here we go. And this bag does not have a particular place for umbrella but it, so far it's roomy enough that I could throw this in here and I'll show you what that looks like. But before I do that, in the back pocket, I have my travel wallet and some more hand sanitizer. And traditionally I would also keep my passports here, uh, mine and my husband's, but I've taken them out. Let me just put that in the Foldy. Foldy also has a back pocket, so... Okay, my wallet doesn't sit kind of standing up. It has to lay down and it barely makes it. And my hand sanitizer will not fit. So the back pocket for the foldy is a little bit tighter than the Away Everywhere bag. I would not be able to keep my passport in here. And there isn't really any other pockets in the interior of the bag. So unless I put my retainer somewhere else or just throw it in there, I don't have any place for my wallet. I mean, so my wallet, I don't know if you guys can see it, but my wallet doesn't really fit in these little pockets over here. So I guess one thing I'm gonna say just going through this exercise for the first time actually, is that I wish it had more compartments inside. I do like the big pocket on one end, but the two on the other side are not nearly as big as I would have liked them. So I feel like the Away Everywhere bag does a little bit better in terms of providing compartments for different things. Because in this situation, if I were to keep my passports over here, I wouldn't have any place for my wallet unless I just threw it in, in here and I don't really like that, especially when I'm traveling. I don't want to have to go out fishing for things. And so as much as the foldy is roomy, I don't know if I like that things are just in there. So let me show you what things look like actually in here. And this is what it looks like. And actually there's more room. So I can put more things in here no problem whatsoever. So if I were to close it, the bag one keeps its shape. Oh, actually, there's a pocket out here in the front that I just like realized. I can put my wallet there, boom. 
I don't completely take back my comment about wanting extra pockets in the inside of the bag, but I am happy that there's this pocket here in the front, which I just realized. The bag has everything from my way everywhere bag. It pretty much looks like a good size. Doesn't look bulky. And there's still room for more things in here. This may actually fit better underneath the seat than the away, but not by much, honestly. It's a lot smaller here. I'm actually surprised. This is what it looks like. I would put it on my shoulder and even though you can't regulate the straps I don't feel that the length is too short or too long I mean this is a comfortable uh, length if anything this may actually be a better length than the away everywhere bag because the straps here are too short for me to even really put it on my shoulder so I would not by any means carry it this way but I feel like with the foldy like it feels fine to walk around like this and if anything it feels lighter than when my items were inside the away everywhere bag revisiting about the price point right I mentioned that maybe not 120 around 60 is a good price the reason why I say that I think is because of the material so compared to the Away Everywhere bag, I think that the Foldy is just not as premium. And the reason why I say this is, for example, the Foldy has these nylon straps, right? And the Away Everywhere, I believe this is leather. So it feels a little bit more luxurious or just a little bit tougher. I feel like the material, even though they're both nylon, this is uh, the Away Everywhere one. It's just a little bit thicker and sturdier, I wanna say. So it just feels like a higher quality bag, if that makes sense. Even the inside, there's some leather trimming as I walk through my Away Everywhere video, so you guys can check that out. But even on the inside of the bag, the pouches have like a leather trimming and that kind of just helps make it feel more premium. And that's the reason why I feel like the Foldy doesn't quite reach a hundred plus dollar price point, but that's just my opinion. I can actually put the clips here to show you what it would look like. I don't know if you guys can even see this or not, but this is what it looks like. And I can even put it like that. And it looks pretty slimming. I mean, it does feel comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. I had some doubts in the beginning. It's actually very casual. And I guess that's what I would describe it as. This is a very casual bag. I feel like the Away Everywhere gives you a little bit more of like an elevated look, but definitely fits my content better than the Away Everywhere bag. No question about that. And I didn't even expand the bottom. If I were to expand the bottom, I don't know if it would fit under the seat. I know that the Away Everywhere bag fits perfectly. And comparing the size, they are the same height. They're about the same length as well. Now the width, I feel like they're also pretty much the same, I think. But this is what it looks like. Because of this, I don't know if I were to expand the bottom and completely fill this bag, if it would fit under the seat. I would have to try it out. <laughs> I have another trip coming up in September. We're going to go to Barcelona so I can take this bag with me and come back with an update. But that's my concern, kind of, you know, thinking about taking this bag on an airplane. Let's see how it fits on top of the carry-on bag. This looks nice, but I want to say that the Away Everywhere just looks a little bit grittier. It just looks a little bit more sleek. 
In summary, I think that this is a really great bag option to travel with or if you're spending a weekend away somewhere, I think this would be a great option to throw you know, clothes in here, maybe shoes, definitely fits a lot of things. But I think it also depends on what you want your personal item to be at the airport. To me, this feels very casual. So it depends on your aesthetic and whether or not you mind just, you know, taking a little more casual bag or if you want something that just has a little bit more bells and whistles um, that looks nicer. So you're kind of exchanging looks for practicality. So the foldy definitely fits more things, which comes with a caveat though, because just because you can stuff things in here does not mean that it will fit comfortably under the seat of an airplane. I have not tried this out yet, so I cannot say, but the dimensions, seems like to be the same as the Away Everywhere bag. So I would just try not to overstuff it because there's definitely a lot of space. Now, do you want to just throw everything in here? I don't know, especially on top of the carry-on. I feel like it would just look like a very bulky bag. But again, goes back to priorities, right? Like, do you care what it looks like or you just want a means to carry your stuff with you? right i do like both bags both the away and this foldy i think if i were to go on a weekend away somewhere this would be my go-to because it just holds more things but underneath the plane i would just have to be cognizant i think about what i put in here so that i'm just not like pushing the bag under the seat you know so last thing i'm gonna do is show you guys how the foldy folds into a little pouch and before I do that, I'm just gonna take everything out of the bag. Okay, so I watched the video and I've done this once, so let's see if I can do it again. The first thing you wanna do is basically unzipper the front compartment over here. And then what you want to do is turn the bag to the opposite side, like so. And you're gonna bring the sides inwards like this like this okay and then the top as well you're gonna bring that down okay this is where things get a little bit complicated then you bring the flap over it you zipper it around Okay, that's half of it. <laughs> so let's do the other half. All right, boom, we did it. Probably not pulled it perfectly, but you get it. It can be done and this is what it looks like at the end of it, which I think is one of its neatest features, to be honest. So that's all for today guys let me know what you think about the foldy and how it compares to the away everywhere bag or just travel bags in general but as always thank you so much for watching until next time bye